What's up? Welcome back to some more Minecraft 1.17. This is like my Let's Play series thing. And uh, today, we are going to do some mining. I need some materials. I would like another diamond pickaxe. And we can finally actually go mining for diamonds without losing many. Right? Because we have Silk Touch now. We finally got a good pickaxe enchantment. It took me a very long time. But anyway, let's get started with this episode. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's up to see. And I think I'm pretty much completely prepared to go mining. So we're just going to head off. And I think I'm going to explore this cave over here. I think I briefly went in there. Maybe that was last time and maybe the time before. But I think it actually went down a decent bit. But we should have all the stuff we need. I have food. I have torches. I have wood. I have a water bucket. We have enough stuff. We have enough stuff to go mining. Like I said, I was in here very briefly before. And I'm pretty sure it goes down decently far. And I really just mainly want some diamonds. To Silk Touch and to eventually Fortune. Now, we will have to mine one of the diamonds at least. Because I am one diamond away from making another pickaxe. And we can get our first Silk Touch thing. It's going to be iron. Now, I don't need that much iron, but I am going to Silk Touch a lot of this. Just so when we get Fortune, we can get an absolute butt ton of iron. Someone just lit off a firework for some reason. Now my dog's scared. Don't do that. I don't like that. Also, I'm pretty sure we're going to be mining in some mountain biomes then. So maybe we can find some emerald. And I have silk touch. So if I can get deep slate emerald, that would be amazing because that ore looks awesome. What if I get a music disc out of this? Nope. Okay, that got too sketchy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought the creeper was about to just get launched into me and then blow up. That would have been absolutely devastating. And we are now here. On Y39. Alright, I think I might just mine around a little bit here. And see if I can mine down like into a cave or something. Alright, we are at Y level 11. I'm going to strip mine here for a little while. And I'll let you know if I find a cave. Or if I find diamonds or something. Found some emerald. Alright, I mean that's a start I guess. Found some diamonds. Let's go. All right, we actually got some, but I'm completely underwater. So let's still touch this guy. And let me get this one, just regular. Uh, what do I have to drop here? Honestly, I don't care about this one, a redstone ore. Give me the diamond. All right, cool. So there we go. We got some diamonds. Let's go. All right, I think I'm just going to take this as a win for now. And just mine up. There's a village. Is this the village? Yeah, okay, that's the village that I'm renovating. All right, so I know exactly where I am. All right, so let's go ahead and craft a fresh new diamond pickaxe. And please tell me this pickaxe has a good enchant. Give me fortune and I will be incredibly happy. First off, what is a book? Sharpness three, don't want that. It's efficiency four. It's just a, I knew it, dude. All right, well, at least we have another pickaxe now. Two enchant. I'm breaking three. The only thing I would take on a sword instead would be looting three. So I'm breaking three. Awesome. Honestly, I kind of want to just like get fortune in this video, but I think we could, uh, this isn't the new axe, right? Okay, good. I think we can break out the new axe. We can mine that entire tree and then go get a whole bunch of sticks. Sounds like a good plan to me. I'm going to mine the acacia wood and then turn a lot of that into sticks. And then maybe I just mine a bunch of this birch wood that I just don't want. Yeah, we can do that. We have a good bit of wood right now. About two and a half stacks of acacia logs and just over two stacks of birch logs. Cleared a good bit of birch out from over there. It still looks terrible, but you know what? <laughs> We're making moves. Uh, let me go actually harvest all of the farms. And maybe we can actually trade with some farmers as well if everything's ready. All right, so our wheat farm gives us one, two, three, four, five and a half stacks of wheat. It's not bad. It's a pretty big farm, I feel like. And also a lot of seeds. I wish uh, the villagers took seeds. All right, I'm going to take a couple of these with me. I'm going to take three stacks of seeds with me because I still want to fill in the farm that I made for the farming villager's house. I haven't actually completely filled that in yet. I'm going to let the potato and the carrot fields continue to grow. I don't think they're done yet. I don't feel like looking to see which, which potatoes are done and which carrots are done. They're kind of hard to tell. Like wheat, it's a lot easier. So let's uh, continue trading with this guy, I guess. And we have 17 emeralds from that. And now you're selling pumpkin pie and apples. Oh, and melons. We gotta get a melon farm going at some point, too. A lot of ambitions here. Definitely a lot of ambitions here. 
Um, let's just completely destroy the inventory of one of these, uh, one of these poor Fletchers. And we are level 30 with all that. Nice. And one of them just restocked, I think. Which one was it? Was it you? It was you. What are you selling now? I'm breaking two bows. I mean, not terrible, I guess. Let's continue leveling up this guy. I swear I had a Fletcher that gave me arrows. Did I not? But yeah, I have three Fletchers. Where's the other one? I have no idea where the third Fletcher went. All right, here we go, boys. The last of my sticks. And we are all out of sticks. There's a stack and a half of emeralds for just mining for a little while. Emeralds are so easy to come by if you have a bunch of Fletchers. Let's go through and replant all these as well. I didn't even finish tilling all this. Ah, I don't want to come back with my hoe. Whatever. I'm going to replant what I can and I'll come back later. Like when we actually revamp the village next episode, maybe the episode after. Well, it'll probably start next episode, but it might not finish all in that episode. That might take a long time. I kind of want to get it all done in one video. Like I want to get all of these houses rebuilt in one video. I just don't know if I really have the power to do that. <laughs> oh, I wonder if the villager like fell down into this little cave and then died. Oh, that might have been what happened. Let me go light up this cave down here. There's a baby zombie riding a chicken. I'm gonna get a screenshot of that. Don't kill it. Look at him. All right. <laughs> I got a screenshot. Let's kill him. All right. Well, this looks like a cave and a half. I'm out of torches. All right. Well, let me just get some blocks and then wall off this cave for now. Also, here you go. In memorial of that chicken. I don't need that chicken breast right now. No, I'll take apples. I'll definitely take apples instead because I can turn those into golden apples eventually. And a stack of apples is quite nice. And we are almost able to get this villager to selling golden carrots. And I think I might just do that. There we go. And we have a lot more experience. So I have a bunch of suspicious stews. Let's see what it does. A jump boost. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the suspicious stew, my dude. Now you sell golden carrots. Let's buy some. All right, sick. We have 34 levels. It's actually a really good way to get levels. Just keep trading with villagers and stuff. On breaking three. What is wrong with this enchanting table? I don't understand it. Efficiency four. There's fortune one. I'm not taking that. Efficiency four. Punch one. Yikes. Fire aspect two. All right, efficiency four it is again. How is this even possible? Like, I am so confused. Efficiency three, looting two, that's not that bad, I guess. Knockback two. I am so confused by my enchantment luck. What is happening? Dude, I'm just literally in so much pain right now from all this. What is like an iron pickaxe? Efficiency four, okay. I know they're different, so... Alright, well... Um... I don't know what to do for the rest of this episode. But I will let future Shram handle that one. I'm gonna go eat some food. That sounds like a good idea to me right now. Alright, so I'm back. It's a couple days later. And I am going to do something else. For at least a little bit in this episode, okay? I have this villager. And I have this lectern. I'm going to try to make this villager sell either a fortune book or a mending book whatever i get first i will take all right i think this villager should continue maybe not all right, i was gonna say i think he should continue staying attached to that but nope now apparently he's gonna go become a fletcher all right so let me go get rid of that second table and now go back to being a librarian maybe i should just trap him in there okay i got that villager trapped inside so i had to wait until i had to go to bed but it works out it's fine okay i can get inside that house with the villager and force them into becoming the type of uh, librarian I want. So obviously I'm not gonna take you guys on this whole journey of me getting a good villager, but I will come back when I get one of the enchants that I want. Okay, mending for 10. I will take that. So now we have a mending villager, which is really nice. I don't have any more books, so I can't buy any more. But at least we have a mending villager. I might just keep this villager locked inside here because I don't want them dying. So what we're gonna do then is, I don't think they can get out if I put a ladder like that. I don't think villagers can jump up to use a ladder. Well, if anything, I'll get rid of that. Then for sure they can't get out and I still can. All right, good. You're gonna be trapped there until I build your house. I might just work on a villager again until I get fortune. Cause then I can just build the best pickaxe possible. I can just put mending and fortune both on this one. All right, villager, it's just me and you. Please give me fortune for not many emeralds. Like please. Hey, mending again. 
I don't need that. <laughs> I'm glad the other villager actually has a better deal. Sharpness 5. That is actually a really, really good one, but I'm sorry, I'm not looking for Sharpness 5 right now. Another Sharpness 5 book, dude. Oh my god. I've gotten two Silk Touch books and two Sharpness 5 books, but no good Fortune book. I got Fortune 2, I think, once, but it was for like 30 emeralds, and I'm not about to do that. Another Mending Trade. Oh my god. This is crazy. Another mending trade, two in a row, but that one is 30 emeralds. It's actually a really bad mending trade. Another mending trade. What is going on? <laughs> All right, look at me. Look at me, villager. Okay. All right. Look me right in the eyes. He nodded. I, I think I think he knows what's up. Or she. They're not. They don't have a gender. I always say he, but whatever. All right. You can do this. Give me fortune. All right. So maybe you thought i said thorns i definitely didn't it's all right fortune okay starts with an f you got this all right all right okay 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 we're getting closer <laughs> this is actually kind of ridiculous impaling five for 19 i've seen that one for like 57 before that's actually kind of nuts fortune three finally all right i need a book i can finally mine that diamond <laughs> that has been in that chest this entire episode all right we can also mine all the iron we found ah finally dude and then i'm gonna add mending to this as well and we are going to have a really really good pickaxe finally so this is going to go on the efficiency for unbreaking three pickaxe we have it doesn't really matter what the durability of it is because once i put mending on it we're gonna get all the durability right back again then i might actually just continue mining then because now that i have a, a mending pickaxe I can mine forever without fear of breaking anything. Give me one fortune book. Thank you. All right, you're staying here too. I don't want you dying. All right, it is finally time. Let's put mending on. I'm going to rename the pickaxe. I'm going to name the pickaxe Chad. And then good old Chad is going to have unbreaking three efficiency four mending and fortune three. Finally, let's see how many diamonds we get from this one ore. Probably like one. We got four. Let's go. That's huge. They have no diamonds here, so I'm going to make boots. I'm going to mine all of this iron now. We have a stack and seven iron. All right. We have two stacks and 17 pieces of iron from that. That's pretty amazing. Let's go. All right. Now it is definitely time to go mining again. All right. We have Chad now. We are good. We should be safe to mine all the stuff we need. And in the off chance we lose Chad... At least we have villagers that can give us amending and fortune books. So we pretty much are going to have a good pickaxe all the time. As long as those villagers just don't die. But I'm going to use the strip mine and I'm going to change it a little bit. So the way I currently have it is that it goes down to Y like 6, I think. Something like that. And Y6 doesn't seem that good, in my opinion. It is Y level 6. All right, so I'm going to change this. All right, we're going to go up. So this is six, so we're gonna go seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We're gonna go on level 11. All right, now everything should still be good. It's just a water elevator, right? Okay, good, we're perfect. All right, so I have it now set up to level 11 instead of level six. Now, hopefully I can at least find some caves and stuff down here at level 11. I'm not gonna make this look too good, so I'm just gonna go out straight this way for a long time. And then I'm gonna branch off and do strip mines along this main one and i'm really just looking for a cave like obviously diamonds are nice too but if i can find a cave that would be perfect because then um i could actually do some regular caving which i like way more than strip mining it's way more fun i found the cave and it's a ravine oh no i don't like this okay what's up dude how you doing all right hold on let me get let me get in here just hang on a second okay oh my god And this is precisely why ravines are the worst. Let's go. Okay, finally, we got some diamonds and a creeper. So let's see how many diamonds we got. Please be more than just these two. Uh, might only be two. It's only two, and I think we only got two. We did. What is that? I might do a bit of strip mining off camera at some point. I probably won't mine the diamonds. I might just do that on camera just to see how many we get. But I think I might branch off in one of these directions off camera we have a lot of iron and stuff which is nice now and actually 39 emeralds is pretty good so it could have been a worse expedition i guess it just sucks that we only got two diamonds out of that little vein we found with fortune three man we got one diamond 
from each thing we mine, which is really unlucky. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I mean, at least we got this pickaxe. We got good old Chad. He's very good at what he does. All right, so it's gonna be very useful uh, for the future future mining videos. Next episode, though, it's gonna be a lot of building, I think. I'm gonna build a lot in that village. I don't know if I'm gonna complete it because I'm gonna have to gather a lot of materials for this. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. This is where every step you take is to or die. Where